Cool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, after watching tape of the uh, scrimmage, anything really stand out here? Well, you know, uh, uh, like like usual, uh, it never looks as good or as bad. You know, defensively, uh, we had good effort. We had a lot of guys to the ball, which was evident, evident on uh, Saturday. Uh, but we had some assignment errors that didn't get exposed because we had one or two guys on offense at a time that didn't didn't execute well. Um, we did some decent things on offense. You know, early on that second drive, we get the ball down the five yard line going in. We take the hands to the face penalty and push us back. And we miss the field goal. Well. That happens in a football game. Adversity happens. We didn't respond very well as an offense. We, we kind of you know, got slumped shoulders, bad body language, as opposed to you know, being resilient and saying, hey, we got it down there. we got, we got to get points out of it. We let that affect, I think, the rest of the scrimmage. Um, when you watch it on tape, you don't see the emotion, and you don't notice the, just the lack of juice, lack of enthusiasm, so it doesn't look as bad. But, to me, that was the biggest you know, concern on Saturday was that offensively, because of you know we didn't have success, we let it affect us I think, too much. Yeah. How, how do you go about changing that mindset? Or... Well, you, first you, you, you talk about it. You, you, you show guys on film, hey, you know, look at the good things we did. We let one thing you know poorly affect us, and we let this affect our entire body. And so you got to address it. And you put them in, in similar situations and throw some adversity at them and make them fight through it and that's that's the key yeah did you see that a little bit today yeah a little response yeah and and you know when we were backed up here you know again we get a big play we get a penalty and again it's it's tough when, when you're down there and you got to get it first but we came back in the in the uh, overtime period and responded pretty well i thought next pretty well right yeah did uh, what are the backup quarterbacks so that's still uh, Greg and Marcus competing. Uh, they're still competing right now. Greg is ahead. Um, you know, we're, we're we're hoping that uh, you know both those guys keep t making strides. But right now, if we had to go in today, Mar Marcus would be three and Greg would be two. Yeah, Greg had a pretty good practice today. He did. Uh, you know, he's a very smart kid. Uh, he's a little bit limited size wise for some of the stuff we're doing. But Coach Ram's doing a good job of putting a package together that, that's a little bit more tailored to him. Uh, I think I think some of those things that, that we're doing right now uh, helps him and helps our offense and can really be a change up to a defense when we put him in the ball game and then having him be a slot for us we can have both those guys on the field at the same time and depending on who we want to put at quarterback we can go from one package to another and defensively they can't tell just based on personnel in the game. Right, yeah. yeah big key there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just the kicking situation. You had uh, Andrew out there again today. Yeah. Uh, where does that stand? Well, I'll tell you, he, his demeanor, you know, he's been in the in, in the games before. He's, he's a senior. Uh, he's got a strong leg. I, you know, uh, Coach Germano said, hey, I think he could compete. And watch him kick out there today. He's not phased by the situation. Uh, he's going to be in the middle of it. And then, you know, we gave Garrett another shot today. He's a little hot and cold right now. So, Unfortunately, we, we, we don't have it narrowed down just yet. Hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have it down to two and we'll have, let those guys compete. Right. We talked about this before, but I mean, you don't mind having a guy handle kickoffs and punts and PATs. If, if he's the guy, then, then no. Ideally, I think it's probably easier on them to have separate guys. Uh, but if he's our best one, then absolutely we're going to have to go with that. Yeah. All right. Good deal.